We're here in the kitchen of the Dunmore Community Center and I'm with Brenda and Mark and first off we're going to make some wimpies and then later on we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can get the wimpies, right? Excellent. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, tell me about the wimpies. It's a special recipe, right? Yeah, yeah. Just like everybody else in northeastern Pennsylvania, everybody has a wimpy recipe. Mm -hmm. um, this one happens to be my husband's family recipe that right. I've doctored over time. Yes, yes. <laughs> we make it for our purse bingo, and so I'm going to show you yes. um, how we do that. All right, let's do it. All right, so first we start with just some extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. And I just put about two tablespoons of olive oil, so just enough to cover the bottom, bottom. of the pot. Okay. And then we put the ground beef in. I'm just gonna salt and pepper. This is just to taste. I don't really have a, you know, tablespoon measure, but right, right. you know, you know what you like. Right. And also you're gonna add to it as you go because the funnest part of Wimpy's is the taste testing, True. right? So okay. we'll so we're gonna do a little, little pepper too. Okay. So all right. I'm going to give this to sous chef. <laughs> All right. Mark is actually going to brown the ground beef for us. So that, that saves us a little bit of time. That's really the time consuming and hot job we give to him. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Next part of the recipe is one red pepper, one green pepper, one cooking onion is what I use, and one celery. And if you have the leaves, I put that in too. Oh, okay. So one stock of celery, and this is per five pounds of ground beef. And then I like to put it in the food processor because I re I don't like chunky things in my wimpies, but some people do, so right. if you do, you would just chop it up. Yep. So I'm just gonna pulse it down a little bit to make room because we still have to put the green pepper in. Okay. All right, so then we'll cut up our green pepper and get that in there as well. All right, so put these in, pulse that in. And then I'm just gonna let it blend and okay. kind of watch for it to get liquidy. All right. Sometimes if it has trouble, because it's not if it's not liquidy enough, I'll add a tiny little olive oil, but this okay. is working nice. Yeah, I is. don't even need to do you that. You can really smell the peppers too. Yeah. They smell so good. So we have browned and drained the ground beef, mm -hmm. put it back in the stock pot. Okay. And then the vegetables that we food processed before, we're gonna put right in. All right. And then we just stir that in and we cook it more. Okay. I usually cook this for about five minutes to let the vegetables Warm cook up. into the meat. All right. Sounds and then good. we're gonna add the most important ingredient right at the end. All right, so it's all good now. Yep. The next step is to add the ketchup. It has to be Heinz ketchup, right. not that I get stock yes, from right, Heinz right. or anything. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I sent Mark shopping the one day and I wrote Heinz ketchup and he came back with the knockoff and I lost my mind <laughs> because it's a very important ingredient. Yep, yep. So I'm starting off with a 38 ounce bottle yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna put about half of this in just to start. Oh, okay. And that's typically about what the wimpy takes. And we'll just mix that through as well. I eyeball a lot of this. I'm looking for that. Mm, yes, that wimpy color. color, right? <laughs> it's so true, isn't that it? That we're all familiar with. Mm -hmm. I will probably end up using this whole bottle by the time all is said and done. Yep. So now we do a little more cooking? Yeah. yeah, so now the wimpies are gonna cook a bit more. Let the ketchup and the vegetables get together with that ground beef, the salt and pepper. And actually, I like to make wimpies the day before I'm gonna serve them. Because mm -hmm. I find as they sit overnight in the fridge, the next day they're perfect. You're right. Well, these look really great. Let's take a taste. All right. Mm. Oh, mm. delicious. I love them. <laughs> a plus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe with us. Mm -hmm. We're very excited that you were able to do this. And we're also excited because we're going to tell everybody how they can get some of these wimpies because there's a special event going on. We're going to learn more, right? Yep, absolutely. We'll take a look at some of these beautiful purses. And there's a way that folks can win these purses. I'm here with Jeannie Phillips, and she's the president of the Dunmore Community Senior Center. Jeannie, tell us about the event going on. 
Well, I'm here today with our fundraising committee, and as you can see, this is just a sampling of some of the beautiful mm -hmm. purses that we're gonna have at our bingo on Sunday, October 6th, here at the Dunmore Community Senior Center. Yes. Now, if folks wanna get tickets, what's the best way to do that? So the best way to do that is call the Senior Center. We have some information that'll be posted. You can call the Center. We do still have some seats available. It's a great day. Our presenting sponsor is Colbert & Grievous, along with the purses that will be raffled off for our bingo, we also have a great amount of baskets that you can take chances on, and we have a gently used designer market that you can shop at as well, and as you saw today in our segment, sampling some of the great food, especially the Wimpies that yes, were made here yes. today. And it's a fun day out for everyone. We still have some tickets available. You can contact the center at 570 207-2662. And we'd love to see you the day of the bingo, which is Sunday, October 6th. Doors open at 11. Bingo starts promptly at 1 p.m. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope it's a great, successful bingo and everyone enjoys those wimpies. <laughs> They're great, so please come out. Thanks, Jeannie.